everyone. Today for Art at Home with Miss Lipscomb, we're going to get into our part two of our Under the Sea project. Yesterday, we begun our project by creating the leaves and rocks that are underwater. Today, we're going to build on this part and we're going to begin working on some of the animals that we're going to glue onto the underwater scene okay so today we're going to start with the shark what you're going to need for working on your shark today is two sheets of white paper you're also going to need glue it can be hot glue or regular glue crayons markers and scissors that you will use with a parent Go ahead and take your white sheet of paper and grab a black marker and we're going to draw a circle. Try to draw it in the corner of the paper, that way you have room for the rest of the shark's parts. Let's use our shark that we already made as a reference. First we have a circle. If you notice, it's not just a circle, it also includes triangles that represents his fins. So after the circle, we're going to draw two regular sized triangles, and then we're going to draw a more thinner triangle. And there you should have it. Next, we're going to take a gray crayon or marker and draw a line separating two halves of the circle. We're going to color in one half. This is going to represent the gray and white parts of the shark. After you finish coloring half your circle, I'm going to finish coloring in the rest of the triangles. They're all going to be gray. Next, we're going to draw the mouth. So draw one horizontal line, and then we're going to draw one large scoop line. If you notice, the shark's teeth are actually zigzags. So we're going to practice drawing our zigzags and begin working on a shark's teeth going from one side to the next. There's the top row, and here's the bottom row. After you finish drawing the teeth, you're going to take a red crayon or marker and begin coloring in the rest of his mouth, leaving the teeth white. There you go. Next, we're going to take our black marker and draw two ovals. These are going to be his eyes. Go ahead and grab another color that you want his eyes to be. I chose orange, so I'm going to choose orange again. And there's our eyes. There you have all the parts that you're going to put together. Go ahead and begin cutting out all the parts. And there you go. If you notice, I have a small white ring around my shark. You do not have to do this part, but I like the look of this part, so I'm going to do it. Um, you can also just glue your shark onto the paper, or you can do the step that I'm doing. If not, you can skip this step and go ahead and start gluing your shark together on the background. I am going to take all my parts and glue my shark onto this white paper. There's his head, and then go ahead and add his fins. When you add the top fin, remember to have room so that if you are doing this step, you have you still have a white ring around all the way around your shark. Go ahead and put the eyes on. There you go. If you notice, the rest of the animals, they have 
lines on them this is so that you can practice drawing your lines for this really big project okay so first I'm going to take a marker and draw scoop lines just to practice just to get creative I want you to be creative for this part and draw whatever you would like next I decided to draw triangles on his fins and there you go Next, we're going to take our scissors and begin cutting around our shark. Make sure you leave the space of about half an inch so that you get the little halo effect that I got. And there you go. There's your shark. Now, you're going to take your background that you worked on yesterday and pick a place for your shark. It can be up high, it can be down low. It does not matter. When you pick your spot, take your glue, and go ahead and glue him on. And there you go. Part two of Under the Sea Project. Great job, you guys. I will see you tomorrow for part three with Art at Home with Miss Lipscomb.